Lost Part 1, in the beginning of the story, we can see a man who is completely lost, and he finds himself in a bamboo forest. He is in a terrible shock, because of which he can't understand for the first few minutes how he got here. After a while, when he is a little lost, he hears some sounds from the forest, and then he sees a small dog running towards him. Then he somehow stands up on his own feet. The man was wearing a suit, and from inside the suit pocket, he finds some alcohol bottles. And then we see that he is running in a particular direction. And then we see that he is running in a particular direction. Then the man comes running in front of a seed. Then the man comes running in front of a seed. At first he can't see anyone at first, but then he hears some noise and runs to one side. And there he sees that a plane has crashed. This guy's name was Jack Schaefer, and he was on this plane. But now the plane is in small pieces, and fire is burning all over. Many people have lost their lives. Some people are still alive, and some people are running to save their lives. At first, Jack can't see anything with his eyes. He can't understand what the plane is crashing or what it is doing. But after a while, he mentally prepares himself and tries to rescue those who were trapped there. At first, Jack sees a man who is stuck in a place on the bottom of a plane, and he tries to help the man. Everyone helps Jack to help the man, and then he rescues the man from there. At the same time, Jack sees a pregnant woman lying on the ground. She is moving a little far away with a machine, and Jack runs towards her. We see that all the broken pieces of the plane have been scattered here and there, and an engine of the plane was still running. Jack goes there and asks the pregnant woman how many months she has been running. But the woman says that her delivery time has not come yet. This is the only reason for the accident. She is in pain. At the same suddenly, Jack sees a boy lying on the side, trying to save a woman with CPR. And then we see another man running with the engine of the plane in front of him. But because of the suction power of the fan, the man gets stuck in the fan and there is a massive blast. Then we see Jack, who sees a fat, thin man next to him. The Jack gives him an idea of a pen, meaning he will make a hole in the neck of the woman with a pen, with the help of which he can take a breath. After that, the man gives a pen to find the color, and Jack is trying to save the woman with CPR, and finally we see that the woman's voice comes back. Then Jack's eyes go to a wing of the plane, which is now almost broken. The plane was about to crash. Jack and the pregnant woman were waiting for the plane. Jack ran towards them and told them to leave the place. And when they left, the plane crashed. And there was a huge explosion. Then Jack again tells the man to take care of the woman and leaves. After a while, when the situation gets a little cold, Jack goes to a part of the plane and sees many dead bodies. And seeing them, Jack's mind breaks. Then we see the man there who was first bring the woman. And he comes and takes a few pens from Jack's hand. But now these pens won't work anymore. And Jack tells him that you have done a good job. The next day we can see Jack sitting in a place and looking for something. From there, Jack takes a sewing kit and goes far away from the middle where no one else is. Actually, it is known that Jack is a doctor. And he goes to a remote place and starts to open his clothes. And we could not understand for a long time that he had become so dangerous. Actually, his belly and back had become very dangerous. And it was very necessary to stitch those places. But Jack's hand did not reach those dangerous places. And at that moment, he could see a woman in front of him who is now surrounded by the plane crash. Jack asks the woman if she has ever sewn a dress. The woman says she has sewn a few dresses before, and then Jack asks her for help. The woman then comes to realize that Jack is actually asking her to sew the places where the accident happened. After that, the woman tells Jack that she has already sewed it, but in a machine. But then Jack says that I am a doctor and this is a very easy job. You have to do it. And then it is known that the girl's name was Kate. After Kate seeing Jack's sad situation, she is definitely willing to help him. And then Jack gives the bottle of alcohol to Kate. The, uh, the, the island. And the next moment I saw that I'd have successfully completed the operation. Kate heard this and told Jack that if I was in your place, I would have run away from that house. But then Jack told her that, no, you would not do this because if you run away, you can still run away, and you are not that lonely. Then we saw the remaining survivors of that island, 
who are now sitting like a group of the rescue team was on the move to save the survivors. We can see a boy named Seed trying to light a fire. And a boy named Charlie was sitting next to him. Seed was sending him to the deck to help him. They wanted to light the fire in a big way. So that they could see the, the flame from a distance. And maybe a rescue team to come and save Charlie. It was nighttime and Charlie was told that the rescue team should be here by now. We saw Charlie writing a few words on his hand. Then we saw the boy named Boone who was playing with the woman with CPR. He was on the flight with his cousin Shannon. Shannon was a little bit scared and was trying to calm her down. She was trying to calm her down and she was trying to calm her down. The girl was very angry at the boy for not telling her anything. Then we can see the fat boy named Hurley. He had kept a lot of food for her and he also fed the pregnant woman. Then he asks her, how is her body now? And Hurley feeds the pregnant woman a little more than everyone. Then the scene shifts to a small child and his father. To the world. We don't care what other people are doing. We have to take care of ourselves. Then we saw Jack helping the people. There we saw a man with a piece of iron in his leg. Kate asked Jack if he would survive. Jack asked him if he knew Jack. Do you know him? Kate replied that he was sitting next to me on the flight. And then Kate and Jack started talking about the plane crash. Jack said that when the turbulence started, the plane was going down. And then he lost his consciousness and he didn't remember anything. Kate then said that I didn't lose consciousness. My consciousness was the same in this whole accident. And this whole scene was very scary. The plane. Jack then told Kate that we have to find the cockpit of the plane tomorrow. There is a device there that we can use to do some research. Kate then said that she saw smoke coming out of a part of the jungle. And maybe that's where the cockpit is. Then we saw that all of the survivors were sitting in silence, but then they heard a loud noise from the forest. Everyone was very scared. They saw the big trees in the forest falling apart and thought that a huge animal was coming towards them. But after a while, everything calmed down. And now they don't know what's inside the jungle. And they are even more scared. Then the story goes a little past and we can see that when the plane took off with all of the passengers, Jack ordered a drink, but he didn't like the drink at all. So the flight attendant hid it and gave him two bottles. Uh, Ross was there and he told him to leave before him. Then when he was talking to him, the plane's turbulence started to come. And Ross said that his husband had gone to the bathroom. Jack talked to him so that Ross would not go to the bathroom. After a while, we saw that the plane had crashed. And the story came back to the present. It was morning again, but no one came to rescue them. Jack's plan was to go to the jungle to find the cockpit. And then Kate came to him. And the scary sounds they heard from the jungle last night, Jack told Kate that it would be wrong for her to go to the jungle with him. Kate insisted on going to the jungle with Jack. And then Jack tells her that he will need a pair of shoes. Kate didn't have it. That's why she took off the shoes from a dead body. Kate didn't want to do it at first. But she had to do it. An old man was standing next to Kate. He saw Kate doing all this. And he smiled at her to, the, to take him with them. But Charlie insists on taking him with them. Charlie will go with him to the cockpit, but we will know the reason later. Then in the middle of the road, Kate asks Charlie, I have seen you before because your face looks familiar to me. Then Charlie reveals that he is a member of a British music band called Drive Sharp. And in this band, one of their songs became very famous. And Kate is very impressed to know this. Kate is very happy to know that she has a celebrity with her. But the story is like this. We will look at everyone's life once. And then we will understand who is good and who is bad. The forest was filled with the sounds of the forest. The forest was filled with the sounds of the wind. And then they start worrying about Charlie, Jack and Kate because they are now in the jungle. Then a little further ahead, they find the cockpit in a place called Kate. But the cockpit was stuck on a tree. That's why its front side is a little up. 
And it's very hard to climb from the bottom to the top. After entering the cockpit, the dead bodies of the passengers get upset and Jack tries to open the door. Only after opening the door, the dead body of the captain falls down. Then Kate and Jack go inside and try to find the transmitter. After going inside, Jack sees that a pilot is still lying there and he brings him water. And after a while, he asks Jack how many people are still in the base. And Jack said that there are about 48 people in the base. And we crashed this plane about 16 hours ago. The pilot of the plane said that when we were near the fridge, we had a conversation with the last rescue team. And then our transaction gets cut off. And if the rescue team still goes out to find us, then they have forgotten. And they don't know anything about our location. Then Jack gives the transceiver to the pilot. But it is now broken. Then Kate asks, where is Charlie? And he goes out of the cockpit to find him. And then Charlie comes out of the bathroom. The pilot! The pilot then saw a huge shadow which scared the pilots. They could not see anything from inside, so the pilot opened the window and looked out to see what was there. At that moment, the enemy took the pilot out of the window and shot him in the head. The pilot was shot in the head. The pilot was shot in the head. The pilot was shot in the head. The pilot's blood dripped down the cockpit's glass. The cockpit then came down from the glass. They were terrified. They ran to save their lives. It was raining heavily in the jungle. There was a terrible sound behind them. We saw a huge, and when she finally goes to get out of the place, she is caught by Charlie. She asks Charlie, where is Jack? Then Charlie says, I don't know. My partner was stuck in a place. And Jack came to help me. And then I couldn't see him anymore. After a while, we see that the rain in the jungle is getting less. And suddenly the sky becomes very clear. And if you see the previous scenes, you will feel that it was an artificial rain. The Kate finds a batch of wood from the ground and comes to the top to see that a pilot's body is lying on the tree. After a while, Jack comes out of the forest in a healthy condition which Kate likes to see. Kate then asks Jack, have you seen that thing? Then Jack replies, no, I was hiding in a bush. At the end, Charlie asks them if they are friends, if it's something that can do such a terrible thing. And this is where the end of Lost Part 1 ends.